Working with Email, Part 1. If you're anything like me, I'm sure that you love having everything that has to do with email all in one place. Today I'll show you how to do that. In Part 1, I'll show you how to add a workspace. Also, how to add email views to your workspace that you've created. We'll talk about the definition of the views for emails specifically, and then I'll show you how to arrange the views on your screen. Let's go ahead and create a workspace that's dedicated only to emails. Do you have to have a workspace that's dedicated to only emails? The answer is no. We could add those different views on the screen that I am currently on, but I like to keep things separate, so I'm going to go ahead up top and add a new workspace by clicking Create a Workspace and entitle it Everything Email. Everything Email, then I'm going to choose my icon. I'm going to choose an orange folder and click OK. So that's created on the left hand side. We can see that we're on the correct workspace because at the top you can see Everything Email. From here I'm going to add my different views. I can add my view by creating a new view here on the left of the screen using the New button or I can go to the top, File, New, and then View. After clicking View, Create a New View populates on our screen. If we click on Email on the left hand side, we can see all the different types of email views that we can add to our workspace. Highlighted at the top we have our Email Editor. That is what displays the selected email in an editable window. Then we have Email Folders. This controls which email messages appear in the email list. We can select which folder names appear in the Email Folders view. Last is the Email List, which displays the email messages in the currently selected email folder. If you do not select a folder or do not display the Email Folders view, the Email List displays all the messages in your My Interactions view. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is add each one of these to my new Everything Email workspace. I'm going to start at the top, adding my email editor and clicking OK, and it automatically adds the view to the top. Next, I'll add email folders by going to File, New, View, select Email Folders, and then add the last one, Email List. Now that I've added all three email views, I can arrange the views to what works best for me. I'm going to go ahead and drag email folders to the right hand side. I'm also going to drag email list to the right and put it above the email folders. So I've separated my email list and email folders and over on the left I have my email editor. Feel free to arrange it however you would like. 